So I'm here with SV Education Services and I've met someone very exciting. This is Biani, the Science Viking. Hail. Hail. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very impressed by this incredible looking longboat. Can you tell me what, what is it that you're showing here today at the Big Bang Fair? Uh, well, what I'm showing is that through uh, an understanding of science, you can gain a greater understanding of uh, history. And I specialise in Vikings. Excellent. I can see you've got all the kit on. We have yes. a magnificent boat here. There's some smaller models of boats. I heard you earlier, you were talking about the engineering techniques of the Vikings. So this is ancient engineering techniques. What is it that you're describing? Um, well, I was describing how we can explain the emergence of the Vikings as the, the pillaging, marauding hordes. Um, basically down to a technological revolution in their ship design. So the original uh, design of the longship, in fact, it's about 2,000 years old, if not more, which is a clinker-built design. We, people still use it today, shipwrights still use it today, where the strakes, these planks that make up the hull, uh, overlap the ones underneath. So that's a very old ship design. The keel in the old ship designs, before the advent of the longship, was a long, flat plank like this. Now, if you make it too long, it'll get very weak because if you're going out onto the sea and you go to the top of a wave, the keel is going to do this and it could snap. If you end up in the trough between two waves, the keel is going to do that and it could snap. So after a long period of doing that and that, you're going to end up with possibly a ship that could break in half. Also, because it's a flat plank, it has no side-to-side -side movement, it's completely rigid, which means that the hull, as it's ploughing through the water, it's got the full force of the waves smacking into it, so you need very thick planks in order to uh, survive that impact. So that made for a heavy ship, uh, a very deep draft, uh, not easily beached, you need deep water, it's basically a deep water ship. Now, in the middle of the 8th century, a Viking shipwright had a revolution a revolutionary idea, should I say. And he decided to move the plank like that. More of a quarter of a revolution, really. But uh, this made the ship very, very strong and flexible. So now, no matter how long the ship is, it's very, very strong up and down. So It's pretty impossible to bend, really. It? Yeah, it's pretty much impossible to bend. Um, side to side, though, for the, the waves actually hitting the side of the ship, and it ploughing through the waves, it's very flexible now, which means that rather than taking the full impact of the waves, the whole ship can now absorb that energy, which means that you don't need such thick strakes. So it's, you lose a lot of the weight and you gain that flexibility. So that means the ship's much lighter, which means uh, it can go faster. It has a much lower, uh, a much shallower draft. This 35 metre long ship had a draft of just one metre. So that means you could row your ship into the, onto the beach, beach it, attack your village, bring back all your booty and your slaves, and then simply push it back out into the sea. It also meant that people inland were now vulnerable. If the river was wide enough to take the ship, then if it's more than a metre deep, that now becomes navigable to these big long ships. So raids inland could occur and a quick escape as well. So it was a revolution in ship design. Biani the Science Viking, thank you so much for talking to us today. It's been fascinating and I feel inspired. Here is to history and engineering. Ah! Ah!